Hello, welcome to my office. It's glorious, isn't it? So I wanted to talk a little bit about super elevation. You might have seen the video that I uploaded to the BIM on the Rocks channel here where Karen Weiss um, demonstrates what super elevation means to some journalists using a manila file folder. So this might be a way that you can you know, use it as a teaching tool for people in your office or really just to get to know the new super elevation wizard and what the new super elevation view does. So I have a drawing here where I have an alignment and I built a corridor model. Used one of this sub-assemblies that you know accounts for super elevation like uh, the inside super or outside super or whichever one you prefer. And I cut some cross sections here. You'll notice the stations correspond with the sample line. So I have one at the start, you know, one at some critical points along the curve. And right now they're all regular crown, you know. And then up top I have the new super elevation view, but it's empty because I don't have any super elevation applied just yet. So I'm going to pick the alignment and I get the context sensitive panels up top. I can pull down super elevation and say calculate edit super elevation. Now let me just bring this wizard into uh, into view here. Let me make it so it doesn't dock, so that it doesn't annoy us. You know what? You're just gonna have to hold on one second because my cupcakes beeped. So I'm back. Never uh, put cupcakes in the oven right before you sit down to record a video. So I'm back here looking at this uh, super elevation curve manager and I want to use the wizard. Um, now I cooked it up a little bit just so that I could get that blank super elevation view in before so it might prompt me to overwrite some values and stuff. Um, typically you'd be coming in here without that super elevation view made already but it makes for better television if we have it there. So I'm going to select the entire alignment Say, so, yep, yeah, I want to recalculate everything. I get a wizard, nice visual selections about what type of super elevation I want to apply. Be sure to hit help. Check out the, the user's guide in the blog post that uh, is linked in the description here to this video and that might have gotten you to this video in the first place. It has a link to the online help system. It's identical to the one that's installed with the software, but just handy for sending links to your friends and things like that. So I get very visual my normal lane width, my normal lane slope, how do I want shoulders to be treated, and um, super elevation table. So there's Astro 2001, Astro 2004, um, maybe your country kit or localization um, information has a different tables too, so check those out. How do I want, do I want curve smoothing applied? How do I want to resolve overlap? Go ahead and finish. Bang, I can see in the background that that super elevation view gets populated with data. Now this isn't the longest curve in the universe. Um, it fits nicely on the screen so that we can talk about it. Uh, so it'll be much more meaningful in those big, you know, big roads that you have in your projects. Um, so information here that I can change about each, each curve, what station, the different um, regions begin, slope, everything I need here. Let me get rid of that just so that we can see what happens. So this is the super elevation view and it has a graphical and editable interface so I can change, for example, let's say I wanted to change the station where the runoff um, began and the run out ended. I get a grip there. I get all kinds of grips around. This looks a lot like those exhibits that are in the tra our transportation textbooks back in school. Uh, a lot of times you have to show these on plans. So my corridor hasn't rebuilt yet to take that super elevation into consideration, my cross section views are still all showing crown, but watch if I do something that drives a corridor rebuild, such as making a grip edit to my super elevation view, or even just manually going back and rebuilding my corridor, suddenly I'm going to see, oh, we'll see it, there we go, everything kicks so that I can see exactly what's happening with super elevation. So how powerful is this, not only for making all those endless cross sections that you have to make, but also, you know, teaching the new guys in the office or using it as part of a class to really show, cut a section view at any point along the curve to really understand what's happening as you transition through super elevation. So thanks a lot. Let's talk to you soon.